This segment is sponsored by Inclusion Pro. Companies sure do have a lot on their plate this year with the pandemic and everything going on. Sarah is here from Inclusion Pro to help us figure out how we can have these inclusion talks in our companies. Sarah, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, inclusion Pro gets to work with some of Utah's largest organizations and national companies to build of inclusion and what we're seeing is that companies are just they really care about the health and well-being of their employees you know in a way that maybe hasn't happened before what's also really great is they're recognizing that that also includes some of the social justice issues that we've been seeing mm -hmm. that it doesn't just stop you know when you come to work that a lot of employees are carrying that with them so they're doing some really good work right now to make sure that employees are feeling included and well cared for. which is what we need to do yeah. I love this what are you seeing companies do with work at home how is that transition going yes yeah, so that's a big challenge for I think everybody <laughs> yes. um, what's really fun is to see how the creative ways they're tackling this um, I've got one company PDQ it's a technology company growing here in Utah and they're doing things like health and wellness online even yoga through zoom which is kind of fun great. right a lot of companies are using um, a, a platform called Slack, which is a chat channel, and they're expanding those channels to include conversations that would normally be like water cooler kind of conversations, mm -hmm. and and these things that you would share, like how are you parenting, how are you balancing, what are cool cooking tips, and just kind of those fun um, things that connect people in person they're doing remotely. Um, what's really great about that is now it, it gives more exposure and shares that to more employees within the company. So you're seeing really great things like that happening. And Sarah, what kind of conversation conversation should we be having at our work to make sure everybody is feeling included? Yeah, I think that's a really great uh, question. There needs to be a lot of focus on inclusion. We've actually been working on hiring for diversity for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, the hard truth is, is that just hiring a diverse team does not make your organization inclusive. And so leaders have really kind of been doubling down their efforts to really learn the skills and the strategies of how do I build inclusivity in my teams. And it's really great that they're actually using this time where, you know, instead of massively growing, they're really focusing on these skills right now which is fantastic so we can build a great foundation for future growth and Sarah don't you think it's so important that we not only have that conversation but we continue it absolutely it's ongoing it's you're you're learning a new set of skills and with any new learning you've got to keep practicing it right and keep talking about it and what we're seeing is that there's organizations that are doing that from the top down right yeah. from the executive teams all the way throughout their organization so it's a really cool transition and shift that we've been seeing and which is so great that we can hire you to come in and help us out in our companies, yeah. help our employees out. Where can we go for more information, Sarah? So you can go to inclusionpro.com. One of the really great things we've been able to do is to do training and strategy sessions online. So we can do in person, but we also want to recognize some companies are still working remotely. So we've been able to shift and have some really cool interactive ways to train people. You're awesome. Thank you for all you're Thank doing, Sarah. You. Thanks for joining us today. And we'll be right back.